you like how the game normally looks? Well, too bad. Okay, so pretty much this texture pack will um add a bunch of stuff, including the fact that you can see the whole world inverted. And no, I'm not joking, this is a real texture pack. Today I'm going to be attempting to play Sky Wars and some other games with this texture pack on to see if it's even possible. Because honestly, it doesn't look like it would make much of a difference, but trust me, it does. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Hmm, let's try some normal Sky Wars first. I, I haven't really played much with this pack on, I will admit I played a couple of games and they were very painful so let's see if i've learned anything from the past i'm not sure if i have or if i will learn anything so the first thing about this pack that i immediately noticed is the <laughs> fps drop that i experienced um it's not major and i'm pretty sure that if you're like on a phone or an ipad then it would be totally fine but for me it's very noticeable because i usually play at a bit of a higher fps also the ui looks the same which is fine it might look different on other devices i've tried it on some other devices diamonds look red I think that's cool, however, I am probably missing a ton of diamonds, so that will make it harder for me to actually find stuff I need. And we're off on our first mission, I want to see if I can actually pull this off, I'm not sure if that's possible. Okay, so to start off, we have this kid right here, he has a diamond chest plate, maybe not. Not today, sir. Also, I just realized that once you exit third person, or first person I guess, then it like goes away, I'm not sure how to fix that, and why it does that, but we will find out, and this kid still wants me dead. I am pretty sure that chasing me is not gonna help you at all. Okay, maybe it will. The thing that's hard about Star Wars is that I can't really tell what looks like what. I probably passed several diamonds seeing that they are redstone. And I probably passed for several redstones thinking that they were diamonds. But yeah, let's not do that again. Let's go do something like Treasure Wars. Maybe this will have a better result and I won't die immediately. Because trust me guys, I'm not that bad. Also, the low fire needs to... No. Please. Something really cool about this texture pack is that it works with other texture packs, so it's not like some weird pack that just changed all the textures. No, this changes other texture packs too. And not only does it change other texture packs, it'll change the skin that you have on in other skins. And honestly, the only way to see everything that it does is to try it out for yourself. So, yeah, go check it out. Also, I feel like there's a bit of a delay when I play with this on. I'm not really sure how much of it there is. I don't like it though, if there is one. No, clutching doesn't make you cool. You can't land a single hit on me. Bye, sir. Oh, this kid has like a dragon skin on or something. We just got like demon horns coming out of his head. You can also heal my normal clicking, which is not very good. Hopefully this kid will be low enough that once I do die, I can just come finish him off with a sword and he won't be able to get any hits on me. So, let's go do that. Maybe I can actually do this. There is a severe delay. I just realized that. <laughs> What's cool is that when I exit out of first person or press F1, then I actually have my normal gameplay. So that if you do sometimes get bored of this and you're too lazy to actually take the pack off, then, uh, well, there's that. He is gone. Well, now, let's go upgrade our generator, and let's see if I can pull the rest of this game off. And they're uh, just right there. And they have iron armor! Of course they do! Wow, okay. <laughs> okay, well, this is not gonna be a fun game. Alright, well, bye, I guess. I just got cross team on. I was gonna lose anyways, but... But there is that pack for you guys if you want to download it. It's again in the description.